By the end of this video, you're going to learn the four signs that you will be successful. You're on the right path to building your online arbitrage business. This is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com. Let's go. So over the last couple of years, I've been helping online arbitrage sellers take massive action, be able to one day even quit their jobs, start an online arbitrage business that's sustainable over the long term. If this is the first time you see me, please hit that subscribe button. If this is a returning visit, welcome back. So in this video, I wanna share with you the four signs that I'm very, very confident on. If you can relate to these four signs, if you're currently actively practicing these four things, these four signs, you are well on your way of building an online arbitrage business that can ultimately provide you opportunity and freedom to do other things, okay? Let's get straight to them. Number one, the, f the first sign, the first sign where we always have to start is you're focused in on the long term process. You are building a business for the long term. This isn't just some sort of get rich quick. This isn't just a let's make some money for Q4. Let's, let's get started. Let's make a, a couple of hundred pounds. Let's make a couple of uh, thousands of pounds, whatever it is. You're focused in on the long term. So what does that mean? What does that actually mean? It means that you are you are focused in on, I still wanna be around. I'm building foundations that's going to allow you to build this business to the point where in one, two, three, four years time, you're still around. You still have systems in place. You already have people in place, resources in place that can operate your business even if you're not in the business. You know, I've, I've been able, I'm able to talk and record this video because I've got a full operations, I've got a full virtual and physical team shipping products every single day, sourcing and packaging products every single day because of the long-term mindset, the long-term approach. If you think about it, people go into a, a career, you know, when I went into my electrical engineering career, I was thinking to myself, well, I'm gonna be an electrical engineer until I'm 65. So that's like 45 years. That's a long-term mindset. The same needs to apply when you're building any business, whether it's online arbitrage or anything, any business, you need to have a long-term process, a long-term mindset for it. So you're gonna be focused in on the actions every day that you can take that's building a long-term sustainable uh, foundations for your business to build upon. I can't stress that highly enough. You know, you've got to educate yourself. You've got to recruit the, the, the right people around you. And there's a process in this. You're not going to be able to do all this on in week one. You've got to first educate yourself, learn the strategy and how this works, and then slowly build your business up, taking action, finding those products, flipping those products, making money, and then reinvesting that into your business for you to keep growing and growing to that next level. Level. That is the long-term mindset. Knowing now, today, as you watch this video, knowing the actions that you're taking today is only going to improve and evolve over the long term as you start to evolve your systems, your operations, as you start to recruit assistants, as you develop um, and nurture the training and the improvement, making sure that your systems are, are getting streamlined and making sure that uh, w when you do get failure and it's inevitable, you're gonna get failure, you're gonna make mistakes, your, mem your team members are gonna make mistakes, your managers are gonna make mistakes, you're gonna make mistakes, and it's a case of then learning, okay, we've learned this, we've lost some money, we've maybe lost some time, let's correct this, let's get a system in place to correct this for the long term. Term. And that's all about being long-term mindset focused. That's definitely, it's got to start with the long-term, okay? The second, the second sign that you will be successful in this business or other businesses is that you are documenting, okay, you are documenting absolutely everything in terms of your numbers, in terms of your accounting, in terms of absolutely everything, all the way from the, the top downwards. So you are documenting, for example, what your business is all about, your business plan. I'm not talking sort of like traditional business plan. This is, what it, what is your online arbitrage business? What is it? It's a separate entity. You know, in my business, I have, we have a, 
plaque on the wall for each individual business. For, for my life success engineer business, for example, I've got a full booklet and all it is is telling us what the expectations of this business is. So we are the best online retail store in the entire world. You have to set that expectation. You have, to accept, you have to set that expectation for yourself. And that filters right through for you operating principles. So you are now, you're operating with principles in your business that you are long-term focused, that you are communicating from system stages to, to, to one, one team to another team. You are uh, focused in on making sure that everything is uh, resolved at root level. You're gonna do a, a root cause analysis, why this is potentially failed in your business. Now you wanna put a system in place to resolve that. Everything is documented, even from you know, the basics, making sure that you've got your numbers right, your margins right, your return on investment, your sell for price, your buy for price, your links to different stores, your, your order numbers, your totals that you're spending every single month, how much money you're spending on stock, how much money are you spending on uh, shipping? How much money are you spending on um, employee wages? You, all these things is going to lead up to clarity, clarity in your life, in your business. Because one thing that I can relate to in many, in many ways, being an engineer, is I've always, I've always needed clarity. I've always needed to know, is things going right in my business? Because if I don't know, if I have a lack of clarity, I know from my self-awareness that lack of clarity for me turns into I'm anxious now. I'm 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 starting to f I'm starting to fidget. I'm starting to hmm. What's going on with my business? I need to do a weekly update. Like let me just do a weekly update so I know what everybody's doing. It's not being a control freak. It's just knowing what is going on with your business because when I'm anxious and I'm itching and I'm trying to get this done, what that if I don't do anything, then that turns into worry. If I start to worry in my business, me as the business owner, I will immediately put a cap on the business. I will prevent, I'm, stop spending everybody. We don't know what we're doing. And I then restrict my own operations. So it's so, so important that you absolutely document everything. You've got a system in place for everything. And that they go hand in hand, long-term mindset, with a, a, a documentation process that allows you to have strong foundations, working procedures, you know, standing operating procedures, um, master spreadsheets, for example, all these things that you are dealing with every day, even your purchasing. You know, we don't want a pile of receipts. You don't want a pile of receipts on your desk that's just gonna get knocked off and just get sort of lost behind the radiator or something. That's not what we want. We wanna know absolutely everything in your business, okay? The third one, the third one is so, so important, and that is you're not a one-man band, okay? You've got the mindset that you're long-term, you're documenting things, and then it's a case of you now need to systemize and automate things. You need to systemize and automate the process. You need to systemize it with virtual assistants, with automated services, and things are gonna take time. You're gonna need to train, you're gonna need to improve, you're gonna need to build and build that relationship with your virtual assistant day after day, month after month. When I first recruited my first senior assistant, um, Harry, who's now my operations manager, he came in as a reviewer in my business. So we were sourcing products and he then was the, the filter between finding the products and then me purchasing them at the time. And over the, the period of eight to nine months from the December, January, when I first got introduced to him and I recruited him to the August the following year, I was essentially, I was just training every single day, this is right, this is right, this is wrong, this is wrong, and I knew long-term, even if he makes a mistake today, even if he makes a mistake tomorrow, I'm, all we're going is going through the process. We are learning, we're learning the craft, we're learning our experience, we know what's right, we know what's wrong, we're bringing him up, and as he came up, and we started to fill in uh, positions underneath him, he would then do the training, which would solidify everything that he knew, and I would then withdraw my Myself from purchasing and it allowed me then to see okay now I'm not purchasing our business doubled over over the month basically 
because I was no longer the bottleneck. And then I then grew because then I was like, okay, I've got a team of purchasers. I've got team of sort. I've got a virtual team. What do I need to now know? What are the metrics I now need to see? This is about the, the long-term mindset. This is long-term mindset, documentation across your business, not having that one-man band mentality. You're recruiting assistants, you're recruiting team members. You are, you're always thinking scalability and growth. And then finally, the fourth sign that is super, super important. The fourth sign is that you have a the next business model, you have the next business plan, you know where you're heading, what you're building your online arbitrage business for. Because when you start to build your online arbitrage business and you start to withdraw yourself from your online arbitrage business, you then just have metrics in place, what we call key performance indicators, and then that allows you to build onto something else. It's not a time to sit in round. It's not a time to watch Netflix. It's time to work. You've got to work double time. When you are automated, you need to work double time, triple time, triple time, quadruple time, 10x everything that you've possibly got. Because what's going to happen is you've one got mass leverage now. When you've got people in place, you've got mass leverage. Basically what that means is you've got so many operations being done all at once and then you, you go hard in, taking massive action every single day, taking action on a different business model. It might be you're using the, the income to get your private label started. You're using the income to get wholesale started. You're using the income to build your brand, build information products, whatever it is. That's going to, all that's going to do is compound and keep building legs of multiple streams of income. So you are successful. You're always going to have your online arbitrage business. That may evolve. That may uh, evolve into the next sort of um, can incarnation of, of an online arbitrage business, which is sort of wholesale or even you introduce a private label um, leg to your business and that's starting to give you different legs of, of sources of, of, of income which is going to give you that long-term sustainability for your business, okay? Always think in terms of um, multiple streams of income and also multiple sources of, uh, multiple streams of sourcing incomes as well, really, when you think of how else can I find products? Wholesalers, can I start to test private label? Can I introduce one product, two products? Can I get into another business model? Can I just get a, another business model, maybe doing 100 pound a month, just on the side, as it's building up my online arbitrage business? So that is the four signs, just so as a recap, just as a recap. Long-term mindset, it's long-term process, it's so, so important. I can't stress that enough. The long-term mindset, go into a business model, any business model, what we're gonna achieve in five years. You know, not five weeks, not five months, five years, you know, 10 years. Long-term mindset. The second one is document everything. Be really, really critical. Don't just do it, don't round your numbers up. Don't get receipts, be to the, to the pence. You know, how much was this? It was 78 pounds and 89 pence. You know, it, it's not about, uh, I'll rough it to, to 89 pounds. That's not what this is about. It's about being accurate with your entire numbers. The, the third one was your one man band. You gotta get out a one man band. Am I saying that you can just afford to just, just get 10 members? No, absolutely not. But you build on it. You get one member in. What tasks can I allocate to that one member? What can I get away from me? Where can I free up my time? Because then ultimately sign four, you're then working on something else. At every level, at every level where I've either outsourced, um, operationally, management, it's freed up some time for me to focus in on any, on something else. Okay, so, I'd love to know what you think about that. Let me know in the comments below. If you're watching up until this point, thank you so much. Um, this this is what I'm. This is what I do. I'm really trying to help people systemize and automate your online arbitrage businesses, which is ultimately going to give you freedom to work. It's the stepping stone to work on something else. In the next couple of weeks, 
we are having, um, at the time of this recording, we have what we're gonna call the Online Arbitrage Mastery Experience, the experience that is coming out on the 10th of August, okay, the 10th of August, which is a process of of three years of myself and Kylie building this business from this very living room now to a 2,000 square foot warehouse with multiple operations, our own um, online arbitrage business, as well as a prep service, okay? We, we are shipping thousands and thousands of units every single week and month. Now I wanna help you do the same. So this online arbitrage mastery experience is an intensive experience. It's a program like no other. Because this program, I'm gonna expect you to go through this in one day, in one day. You set a date next Saturday on the 11th of August, you're gonna wake up at eight o'clock in the morning and you are starting the online arbitrage mastery experience. And by the end of it, you're gonna be super, super, you're gonna, you're gonna know exactly what I've done over the last three years. You're gonna have built an incredible amount of energy and urgency to make it happen. And you're gonna just take massive action going into Q3 and Q, going into Q4 of this year. If that interests you, look in the, uh, the, the link in the description. Um, that's going to show you exactly, uh, basically where you can sign up. The VIP exclusive list is open right now. That is going to be closing um, very, very soon. So get into that, because they're now gonna be in contact with uh, you guys on the email list and sharing with you the exclusive bonuses. So as always, this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com, inspiring you to take massive action every single day, building the life that you want, your lifestyle design and online arbitrage, which is a stepping stone for taking action in multiple areas of your online business, which is ultimately going to give you the freedom that we all deserve and desire. So take care, keep taking massive action, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Cheers.